Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Before we begin, let's just take a quick look at this clip from one of Mumbo's recent videos. I want my base to be alive. I want it to be a living thing. I want it to be a thing that we have to keep alive. <sighs> it's, it's, it's like he doesn't even know I'm trying to make a tutorial for his base or something. It's, it's fine though, I will, I will do it, I will work out his redstone and I will do it. And anyway, in this episode of the Mumbo base series, we are going to be building up the central tower to the level that you can see behind me here. But first though, I'd like to give a big shout out to Big Kevin from my Discord server, who has been building this on survival and has some numbers for us on the number of blocks that it takes to build these outside towers. So on screen now will be the statistics from his world that he's kindly provided for us. And for those of you who are interested in the total number of blocks it takes to build this thing on survival, there you go, a few of you have been asking for it. That is the number of blocks it took to build all eight of those outside towers on survival. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. To make a start then, we are gonna begin by finding the block that is in the very center of our base, which I have done just here, and I've marked that down with a little bit of stone bricks there. We're just gonna leave that there so we can see. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 31 blocks in each of the four directions. There's gonna be a gap of 31 blocks. And then on the 32nd block out from this, we are gonna start the edges of our tower. So one, two, three, 28, 29, 30, 31, and there we go. That is all four of those blocks done. So these are gonna be where the straight edges of our tower are. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take each one and we're gonna go 13 blocks out that way, 13 blocks that way, and that's gonna turn this into our straight walls. Also what we can do is at each end of these straight walls that we create, we're gonna come in just like that. So there you go, you should now have your four straight sides looking like this, and we can make a start on the diagonal sides. To do that, we're gonna come down to any of these ends here, from this end, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, from it like that, and then one out like that towards the next wall. And that is where we're gonna place our first bit of smooth stone. And then leaving one diagonal gap, we're gonna place a second one, and another gap, and a third one, and another gap, and a fourth one. And then we're gonna do this the same from the other side. So one, two, three, four, and out. One, two, three, four. And you should find that these two in the middle are right next to each other. Go ahead and do that for all four of these sides and I'll see you then. And this is what that should look like. Now I've built each of my bits up to three high simply because I was following along with Mumbo's video and this is how he laid his out, but that doesn't really matter yet. All of this is gonna be built up much higher in a little bit anyway. And now what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna move on, we're gonna leave these diagonals for a bit and we're gonna build up the arches on each of these four straight sides. To build up these arches, we're gonna use that same randomization technique that I showed you that we used for these concrete and iron fillings in our outside towers. So that is scrolling through really, really fast. I have three of each of stone bricks, cobblestone and just regular stone. And we're gonna be building up these arches from a random combination of that. Coming in from the corner here, you're gonna count one, two, three, and four. And then on this fourth one, this is where we're gonna start building up. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and across one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and across one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, across one, up and across another one, up two more, so that's a total of three there, and across two, three like that. So when we look at the inside of this arch, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five. This one's eight on the inside. This one's six on the inside. One, two, and then three ones, and then go on top and start coming across like that. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna do the same on the other side. So there's our arch, and we're just gonna come up to the top and go one, two, three, up on top of that. And now what we need to do is coming from these corners, we're gonna come straight up from each of the corners up to the height of this top bit here. And we're gonna fill all of the in so we have one flat solid wall. And there we have our filled in archway wall. Looking very nice. Well, actually looking very flat, but not to worry, that is not gonna last. It's gonna be all ruined. It's gonna look a lot better once we've ruined it. It's a weird sentence to say. But before we get to any of that ruination stuff, 
What we want to do is there is a bit of an overhang that comes out of the top of this bit here. So we're going to come up to the top. We're going to come out one. So there's a two high bit like that. Come out again with another two high bit. And I've just realized I'm not randomizing this anymore, but that's fine. Come out again with another two high bit. And then all it's going to be same randomization as all of this down here, going all the way across the width of this wall. Once that's done, it should look a little something like this. And actually standing down here looking up this, this looks fairly imposing. With that all done, what we can do now is go around and repeat this on the other three sides. Here are some I made earlier. And with those four walls done, we can finish off these diagonal walls that go between them and get those all filled in as well. So we're going to start by bringing up these pillars of smooth stone that we did. And we're going to bring them all up to the height of the top of this flat wall here. With the exception of those middle two, they are going to be one block lower. Once you've done that, you can come down here to the end of one of your walls. And we're going to lay out the outline at the bottom here for where the filled in bits between these two are going to go. So from this bit at the end, we're going to set back like that and have two there. And then one coming in a diagonal to this. And then each of these walls are going to have, oops, not like that, not like that, like that, two there. To there, to there, and so on all the way across here until we get to the other side over here, which is going to be the same as that side, two set back like that, and one there. And now all of these need to be built up to the same height as those pillars. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a mumbo here and say that this base looks so much more solid once that wall is filled in. Anyway, once that is filled in, you're going to want to come up to the top here where you've done this. And first of all, at the top level here, level with the top of your big flat walls, you're going to put two across there. I've not randomized that just because my randomization stuff is off. You guys will probably want to randomize that. You're going to do that on both sides. And then we are also going to increase the height of these two end ones here. So this first one, that is coming up two more. So it's the same height as the top of this bit. And this one here is coming up one, two, three, four, five, six more so that it is the same height as the top of this bit. We're going to do the same over on this side. Then what you're going to want to do is come to where you've done your overhangs. And this is coming out and around like this until it hits that pillar of smooth stone there. And then this one is coming around here until it hits that bit right there. And then this top one Last of all, that is coming all the way around until it hits the taller of the stone pillars. And then make sure here you fill in that gap right there. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Eventually, you are going to have all four of your sides done. Everything is going to be completely filled in. And we are ready to start the ruining on this. Now, the first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to come to these corners at the top here. And we're going to round them off a little bit. So we're going to break out these corner ones here and two going that way and two going that way. Fill in these there. Break down this one and then take out these bottom two and this bottom one and then fill in that gap. So that corner now looks a lot more rounded, a little bit more natural. And we're going to go around and we're going to do this with all those corners going around there. Once you've done all that, you can go ahead and start making your actual ruined texture on these walls here. Now the block palette I'm going to be using for this, I've filled my hot bar with two of each of cobblestone, normal stone and stone bricks. And then the last three spaces I have filled with mossy cobblestone and stone bricks. Now there are a few different styles that you will see people using for doing ruined designs. Mine, I tend to use lots of very small groups of blocks placed randomly about the place. Mumbo's when he did his, I think he had all of that second layer of texture interconnected, so it's a slightly different style. Just come up, have a look, little look around, or come up with something yourself. Whatever you want to do for this is fine. As I said, the way I do it, I use basically like small shapes dotted around the place. I tend to sort of put blocks in that kind of shape, the three block corner, or maybe like a T shape, or in any kind of orientation, plus shapes like this and then just single blocks or two blocks next to each other like that. And I'm going to use this to cover this whole section here. So I'm going to start just building up like this, just throwing blocks down randomly 
and I will see you guys once I've done this. Okay, so I am getting there with the ruining of this first wall here. As you can see, I've decided to add in smooth stone to that block palette. And if I come over here, you will also see that in this first, the original flat layer of that wall, I've been replacing a few of the blocks with the mossy variants there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish up doing the top of this wall. I'm also gonna be curving this ruined effects texture around to the sides here. I'm not gonna be doing anything on these walls, but I am gonna curl it around so that it comes around to this side of that wall here. And then I will see you guys once I've done all four of the sides of that. And there we go. I have now completed all four of these walls. They have this really cool eroded look to them now. Now I had been hoping to get the foliage done in this episode, but this video is already later than I wanted it to be. I've been super busy with work and also my car chose this weekend to throw a bit of a wobbly. So I am actually gonna leave this video here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more future videos. Drop a comment letting me know what you thought. And until next time, I have been Matt and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.